Hello, hello, hello. Coming to you guys with our art for this year and also our foreign language we are doing this year. And this is just going to be light resources um, for the foreign language. We'll get to that. So for art this year, um, we are going to finish the I Can Do All Things. This is a really great program. Um, now, I will say this. The man on the DVD, this is him right here, uh, Mr. Stebbing. He is real monotone, real you know, not boring, but he, you know, it's just really old school video. Like this is something we would have watched when we were younger. Um, but I like it because my son has been doing great with his drawing. He's been getting better and better and better. So you have your workbook here and this is some of the stuff he hasn't done yet, the paint stuff. So, um, we're going to finish this with the paint marker cards, um, this year. He has been getting better and better and better and it comes with DVDs. And we'll be watching those and practicing our drawing. It's so funny because as you get busy, I will I'm not gonna lie to you, as you get busy, art is something that you usually let slip, music is something you usually let slip. But I was drawing something the other day and I realized what I was drawing, I learned how to do in elementary school. So I'm very excited to um, allow him the opportunity to learn things that will be basics for him and he'll use as a basis as he continues to get better and better and better and better and better. So that's what we're gonna be doing with the, our art. And then also for this year with ECC, um, it's Foreign Countries and Cultures with My Father's World. They have the global art. So in here just has different activities and art projects. I showed you guys a glimpse of this that you can do. So I'll be pulling from this as we do art projects. Um, I'm really excited about that. And he has a lot of projects he'll be doing this year too, especially when it comes to his STEM stuff for science. Okay, then we have our fun with easy origami that we're gonna be doing, which he's really excited about because he's been asking me to learn origami for a long time. So I bought the extra papers for me to help um, me to learn how to do it with and for him to do it as well. So we're gonna be doing that together. And that is our art for this year. Next, we have our foreign language and music. So for music, and I left the DVD, they have the We Sing Around the World. So we have here the We Sing Around the World. This came with the curriculum and it just has different songs from around the world is what I'm guessing. It also comes with a book um, in both English and the original languages. So you can teach your children how to read, um, how to sing the songs in English and also in the language that the song is coming from. So I'm really excited about that. That'll be something we we'll do as we explore the world. But mainly this year, it's all about these. Now I picked these up um, last year from Five Below. They were $5 a piece. It's a Simply Piano and a Simply Guitar book. And my son was like, I'm gonna do it. And then he kind of was like, eh. Cause again, as we get busy, art and music guys, we just kind of throw it away. And I'm not doing that this year. That's why I'm starting so early with my preparations. I know you guys will see these videos in August in late August and September, but I am recording these videos at the end of July in the first week of August because I have been really organizing. I want to start early and be really overprepared um, and hopefully we can stay afloat. So I'm excited about this because he's going to be reading music and all that fun stuff. I look forward to really teaching him because the piano lessons are something that I took when I was younger. So we have a couple of keyboards here that he can kind of dibble and dabble on. And then when we move into our big house, um, we move into our own house and out in the country, um, in a couple of years, I definitely want to have a piano. And then also here, he has a guitar. We just got it tuned. So he is really excited about the guitar lesson. So I'm really hoping that it works out good. And I honestly look forward to learning with him because that's the whole point of homeschool, that everybody in the family can learn. Okay, guys, and you've seen these already. Um, last year, we did sign language. We're going to be continuing with sign language this year. And I have realized that learning ASL from a book is not the best thing. It's cool in the beginning, but it's not the best thing. So I am going to be taking a course to learn ASL. And I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to be learning American Sign Language so I can continue to teach my son um, ASL because we are really enjoying it. But we just kind of want to take it to the next level and we can't do that with just the books. Um, I've been looking for a DVD program for it. If you know of one, please let me know. But if not, in January, I will be taking ASL at my local community college. Continuing education type of thing and just something fun to do. And of course, we're going to continue on with Spanish. Um, we're actually going to start Spanish this year. Well, he knows a little bit. We're going to continue on with Spanish and just keep it going and start it because he wants to learn that as well. So we have these Spanish books I bought a year ago. But we're finally going to bust. All right, guys. So that's it for our art, for our music, and for our foreign languages for this year, guys. And I have a couple more sign language books. And we've got a couple of DVDs from the library. So um, if you have any questions, again, comment below. But definitely check below for the blog post for our 2016 curriculum. So that way you can know what we are doing here at the Kemp Academy, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.